Hey guys, it's Brittany. So I thought we would put together some little candy corn shakers. So these I got at my job, which is Love Nicole. This is an AC Moore brand. Um, these were on the clearance. Um, I was actually kind of disappointed this year. They didn't have that much new, they didn't really have much Halloween stuff. Uh, but they had a ton of Halloween stuff on clearance. Like, I bought up a ton of stickers. They had, like, really nice stuff. and But they were all on clearance, which is good for me. Plus, I got my employee discount. But um, they have these really cute candy corn shakers. So I got two packs. Um, I don't know. I might get more. There's four in each. And um, they give you sequins for each of them. But I don't know if I'm going to use these. I might use, like like a white and orange and a yellow, you know, to make them actually like candy corns. But then they also have fall ones. Let me grab them real quick so I can show you. Um, they had these round ones with images, and then I also picked up the maple leaves that they had. I only picked up one of these. I should have got two, but um, those I'll do in another video. But, um, yeah, I was kind of thinking of doing it like yellow and orange. Um, I have this glitter from Michael's last year, which is orange and yellow. So I might do one like that. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I might use this one. Um, this one's gold, so it's kind of yellow, but it's not, like, yellow, yellow. So let me actually, I didn't do this before <laughs> I got on the video, but let me see if I have a yellow. Well, of course I have to have a yellow, but I have to grab it. So let me grab... I had a neon yellow, that would be cool. Um, give me one second. Alright, I have a couple things I can use, including glitter. Sorry, I totally should have did this before the video, but... Alright, so I grabbed a couple things. These are, like, super neon yellow, so I don't think I'm going to actually use those. <laughs> but, um, I do have these. This is, like, an orange. Um, I have some gold seed beads, and then I also have this yellow. They're, like, little stars, but that will work. And then I picked these up, too, if I want to use this one for, like, the white. I probably won't use the silver. But, I just wanted to put... Um, one together, or see how many I can do on camera without my camera shutting off on me. If I can get it out of the packaging, that would be great. So there's the sequins you get, which is kind of weird. They should have, like, gave you, like, orange, white, and yellow, which I thought was strange, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but they have all the pieces in here, so the acetate, the layers. The other thing I thought was weird, they didn't, like, I don't know how to just, like, they don't, it's not, like, patterned paper, so they didn't, like, color it. I guess they wanted to leave it white, like, it's just white paper. Um, so, um, I don't know if I'm gonna, like, color it, like, maybe black. I think black would look cool. Maybe do some white and do some black. But this is basically how it goes. So here's the top layer, the acetate, the foam that's already cut out for you, and the back piece. Um, I also said, like, this is white, so I thought it would be nice, like, if you do the yellow, orange, and white, like, to have it colored like that instead of white. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Um... So, I came up with a couple ideas, obviously, um, you can use markers and stuff, so I'm going to try that. I'm just going to grab Crayola markers and um, see what I do. So, that's what I was a little disappointed about, but, okay, so first I got to make sure I don't color in, it goes white, orange, yellow. I got to make sure I don't color inside the um, where it's going to be white because that would suck. <laughs> so I'm just going to color it just because why not. 
these are super easy to do and like I'm kind of just disappointed that it's just white but it gives you I guess room to kind of do whatever you really want um, so I'm not really concerned all right I think that's good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now stick I peeled off the back and I'm gonna stick this on to my base make sure I line it up right so there's my little candy corn and I'm gonna put my sequins in now obviously you really don't need that many sequins in here like you need a very very small amount which is great so for white I think I'm gonna do this I mean I have this iridescent one but then they give you this white one so I don't know maybe I'll do let's do this I have a mini spoon. Let me grab a mini spoon. That will help, obviously. So I'm gonna just take a very, very little amount and maybe that was even too much. Cause you want it to still shake, you know? So let me pour some of it out. Okay, see now it's looking kind of purpley. What do you guys, mm. all right, I don't like it. Okay, changing my mind. Now none of them wanna come out. <laughs> all right, let's just flick them out. Come on, flick out. Okay, they don't wanna come out. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try using, whoops. I'm gonna try to use I'm sorry, I should have been a little more prepared for this video, but I have the tendency to change my mind about things a lot. So we want a really tiny amount. Whoops, almost I spill it all over the place. Okay, I think that's good. So there's the white, right? And then for orange, I might put this one. Because I think this one's really cute. Um, actually, I have this one, which is like a brownie orange. No, I'm going to need a lighter one, so I'm going to use this one. <laughs> I'm going to use the one they give us. I'm going to like really tape this, jeez. So, we're going to use this one. Hopefully my camera doesn't shut off in the middle. And we're going to just... Put a little spoonful. Like I said, you really don't need that many in here. And then for yellow, I'm going to go with these little stars. Sorry, my fiance is texting me. I kind of probably put too much in there, but that's okay. So, like I said, I think it will look better if the outside is black. But we have the acetate first, so we take carefully peel this off. Ah! Without making the sequins go on the foam, which I already did. <laughs> okay. And we're going to lay the acid, make sure it's not all dirty. And you're going to lay the acetate on top. Shoot. Unless you do that. Okay. Some of them are going to be a little stuck, but that's okay. Now, what I'm going to do with this is. Um, I'm going to use my Distress ink because I think that will give it like a cooler look and in black soot and I'm going to distress this piece in black without hopefully not ripping it. Well that's not as intense black as I want it to be. Oh that's why because it's like a glossy paper. Yeah I want it to be more of an intense black. So let's get a black marker. <laughs> right? Best solution. Get a black marker. So I'm just gonna, I'm literally just gonna color this. That's not coming out black either. That's disappointing. I'm sad. So I think my only solution to this is to use like a big sharpie. And my thickest black sharpie is I think upstairs. 
so I'm not going to run all the way up there to get it. So, actually, no, wait. Aha! I found one. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. There's the black I want. So, I'm just going to go over this. And I'm going to put most of these on wands. I'm going to make them into wands. So... I know my craft mat is a mess, but I don't really... I'm a messy crafter. I think we all are, but... I'll clean it up. It comes off with, like, um, an alcohol wipe, so... There we go. There's the black I wanted. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, let it dry for a second. <sighs> kind of blow on it. Because it is, like, a glossy paper, if you can see that. I didn't even realize it. See how it's, like, kind of glossy? Now, there's no adhesive here because obviously we put the stuff down. So I'm just going to get some of my liquid adhesive and I'm just going to put a strip really thinly across there because I think the rest will stick because of the foam. Um, if not, I'll just add more adhesive. So then I'm just going to place this right on top yeah I think that looks so much better than it being white and then if I really really want to I can go around the side of the foam and color it black which I think I'm gonna do so I, I think I really like this better than what they had like they wanted you just to put like orange and all of one of them I think this is really cute um so I think I'm going to do them all like this because I think that looks the best. But again, let me see. I'm just going to go around because so I think it will look better if you color this black. Which it totally does look so much better. So that's why it's kind of weird that they left everything white. I guess they did it so you could be creative or... Maybe they just weren't thinking. But that's how you took something blah and make it cute. Ta-da! So check out your AC more if you have one for these. I'm sure you guys could make your own. Um, if you find like a cutout. Um, there's probably a company that has a die like this somewhere. But it's cute that it all comes pre-made for you. Um, like again, I'm a little disappointed that they come all white and not in a gradient like this and that everything's white um, and that they don't give you yellow, orange, and white sequins. They only, well, they give you white and orange, but then, and they give you like a gold, but then they give you purple, which doesn't make really sense for candy corn. So, but, um, yeah, there's the little shaker. So it does shake super cute so I'm gonna put these probably on wands and I'm gonna make the rest of them now that I know what I'm doing <laughs> so let me know what you guys think and um, I'll talk to y'all soon bye guys